This is my poor Kodak PlaySport. Um, gosh, what is it? The ZX3. It's it's a really old original uh, version of one, and uh, it's gone. It's been a great camera for years now. It's made me a lot of money. And about about three weeks ago, it uh, stopped being recognized on the computer. But that was no big deal because I just I just pulled the card out, and then it stopped charging. It's been for a while now. You've had to bend the charge cable over to one side, uh, wrap it one way or the other in order to get it to charge, and then it stopped charging. And then it just took a shit on me entirely. So I get online, and it turns out, I guess, that's uh, standard procedure for these things. And I have had... <laughs> I've had exceptional luck, I guess, with it. I was able to look online and try a couple of the the tricks, plug it in and punch the power button instantly, and I got it to display, I, I'd call it gibberish, but I got it to display some model numbers and stuff on the screen. And then it appeared to charge normally again. The light didn't go off, and it stayed on and on and on, and I gave it half hour, 45 minutes, and I unplugged it because I wanted to see how far along it was and check it hadn't charged a bit. Despite that, I, I bought a new cable, a $17 cable, because Kodak told me I had to get a special cable with the charge uh, in there. I couldn't just use a regular USB cable that fit it. That had no effect whatsoever. I'm hesitant to buy a replacement battery because it doesn't seem like that'll be the solution either. So what I'm hearing is that you've got a, a combination of bad firmware and a plug that comes off. So what I'm going to do, because she sure as hell ain't good to me as it is, pull my memory card out, is I'm going to go ahead and open it up. There are four Torex here, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a number six. Yeah, it's not a perfect fit, but it's enough that it's going to get it to come loose. And then you've got some little piss tiny Phillips. You got one there, you got one back in there, one there to uh, take apart. And the one I saw online was a, a guy who hacked it very, very, very early on, I think in its development, and he modified it so he could play Tetris. So I'm using basically his, he had a few pictures of taking it apart. And then I'm using the information from the other guys who talk about how they found their plugs loose on the board. Now, no one said whether they were successful at resoldering them. And, uh, you know, the guy who hacked it to play Tetris, that's all he hacked it to do. So we're going to open it up. I'm going to hope that it's loose on the board and that just a little bit of careful solder heat can bring her back to life. Okay, so now for the little Phillips. Am I missing a screw somewhere? Got a nice rubber chassis gasket, which has come loose on me. I don't see anything wrong, necessarily. I mean, I even had enough use out of this that I wore all the stuff off the buttons. <laughs> From what I understand now, my, my Kodak PlaySport was an ancient, ancient machine compared to the average lifespan. So the board screws, from my own memory, they are a flat-topped, thin Phillips silver. I got one, two, three... Four, five, holding this 
steel chassis assembly down. I'm going to go on the assumption. You'd have to pull the screen out to get to some of these. I'm going to go on the assumption that I pull this entire plate out. Big awkward fingers. What do we got holding that? So we're closer. Because it's right, right under here is what I want access to. Okay. All right, there it is. So here's our power terminal. And it's, it's held into this little tiny board with those two screws there. Underneath all of this comes out like a Lego. There's another freaking screw. So we got to get underneath this. to get that back. Alright, so now we can get access. It appears to me that that this housing is bent slightly. Unfortunately, I cannot tell. So, you got the outer metal shroud and it's soldered that I can see two points here and here. It's soldered down, and, uh, oh, fudge, how am I ever going to get that back in? Fine, bastard. So it seems to be soldered to the main board at two points, so what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go get the cord, and I'll uh, put it in and flex it a little bit, and see if I can tell if they're broken. Other things I notice, it's got a little tiny battery in it. I mean, a little tiny battery right there. Maybe if that's gone bad. It's got some other ribbon cables that... I don't know. Maybe they could be unplugged and replugged back in. I'm not looking forward to trying to lift that whole mess out. Okay. What have I got? I'd swear... I might be able to get this... No, you'll never be able to see it. I'd swear there are cracks. Oh, sure, as Oh, sure, shit. Um, let's see here. How can we do this? You're just not going to be able to see it, I think. Well, right there at the end of my big blurry finger, it has ripped all of them loose from the board. So there's five contact points. How the hell? I don't have the stuff to solder this. Five contact points there. They have all been pulled loose, every one of them. I don't have the stuff to solder this. Do I just... What do we got to lose, right? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm reasonably good at, at fixing random stuff. But I, I also know and acknowledge when... When something is beyond beyond my doing. And this, this is beyond my doing. My only hope is that if I apply a little heat, I could maybe get those to reflow. But I think they pulled straight out of the board. I'm sorry, I just can't get this in focus with you, even with my super awesome magnifying glass. I just don't... I, I think we've pulled right out of the board. I think it's different than, different than it just 
You know, they haven't come loose, they've failed. This is gonna work? I bet she's teasing me. There's no way this is gonna work for me. How could this work? This is like fixing a space shuttle with a sledgehammer. How could this work? Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's working. No, I think she was toying with me. I think she was being a dirty girl and toying with me. Well, if you learn nothing else from me on this, here's what's wrong with your play sport camera. It has pulled the five little wires coming out of your USB loose from the board. Everybody's descriptions are the same as to what's gone wrong, as to how they failed. Mine is no different than any of the others. I might not be able to fix mine, but I know there are people out there that are much better than I am. So maybe you can fix yours. At this point, I'm just trying to pin the metal chassis back to the board. dab of liquid flux we'll wick that stuff in there all right well once again here's what's wrong with it okay it's probably what's wrong with every single freaking play sport camera and it's what tinners fluid this is some brutal stuff once again both acknowledging and apologizing that my skill set is is not up to this task. It isn't worth having somebody else fix it if it could be fixed. And knowing this tenor's fluid, having worked with it before, even on the offhand chance this is successful, it'll probably eat the board. But if it looks like it works, I'll clean it with some distilled water. Okay, I can see where I flung the bridge. Well, I cleaned it off pretty well. I had at least one of them stuck down.
Let's see if I got some desoldering braid. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more of the tinner's fluid in. Overkill that it might be. I'm going to flow solder across the whole ass end of this plug. Then I'm going to come after it with a desoldering ribbon. And that will be the full extent of all ideas I have in, in any way to try to get my equipment to do this. All right, so that there we sit. It's it's beyond it's beyond my ability to fix it. Well, shit. At this point, let me take the board loose. Can't make it any worse. Maybe there's some way to to bridge it. There's room for little tiny wires in there. Suppose I should have known that, huh? Double air board. So, yep. I'm done. But maybe somebody else, maybe somebody else can use this information. Those five wires peeled off the board itself. Maybe you can use that to fix yours. So she need not have died in vain. Well, if you didn't F yours up the way I F mine up trying, I bet, here's, a, here's an idea, jam, jam a toothpick between those two, use a screwdriver, shove it down in there, press all those pins down firm against the board, and then maybe, make sure your plug is out at the time, maybe a drop of super glue, or a, a blob of hot glue, right there in I mean I'm half tempted to try my own idea I might I might see if I can I don't know I mean it's so tiny it's so so tiny everything I got is too big having seen this having had a chance to think about it here uh, pondering my own ineptitude there's room right there. You see where I'm putting it in there? You could stick something non-conductive right along there, wedge it in. Basically pin those five connectors to the board. And then glue it somehow. Hot glue, whatnot. Maybe you pull your board far enough apart that you actually reattach these two points. I suspect these are what broke originally, and then the flexing uh, tore the board loose. And these are the two mounting points on the back side there. Um, that's my working theory right now. I, I think I've screwed this up too much. Uh, I, I know I've moved one pin. I've moved that center pin to the left. That and it. Even to the magnifying glass, I think I got a couple of them stuck together with solder. I think I got two of them. The best I can offer you. If you're opening yours up and you've got nothing to lose, by the way, if you know how to reattach these tiny pins using the equipment I have here, please attach your video to this video so or send me a line or something so I can watch it and learn how you do it. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. So yeah, right as we throw down with a $4,500 high-speed camera, my main slow-motion camera takes a dumper on me. Son of a bitch. Oh, man. I can't afford a new camera right now. I was one of the few people that had 
a good experience with the Kodak. Oh well. You don't know your limits till you try them. Thanks for watching.